Today, we're diving into something that a lot of you have been asking about. The readout speed of Blackmagic's newly announced Pixis 12K. And yes, the numbers are officially out. Not only are we getting 12K resolution and that sweet 16 stops of dynamic range, but the readout performance way faster than many expected. So, what does that actually mean for your shoots? Is this the new king for indie cinema? Or is it still playing catch up with the Ursa Cine 12K LF? Stick around, because we're going deep on what these numbers mean for you as a filmmaker. Before we jump into the numbers, let's quickly talk about what readout speed actually is. When you're shooting digital video, your camera sensor doesn't capture the entire image instantaneously. Instead, it reads the image line by line, from top to bottom. The time it takes to complete this process is called the readout speed, measured in milliseconds. Why does this matter? Ah, well, if something moves quickly while the sensor is reading out, you'll get that dreaded jello effect, or skewing, what we call rolling shutter artifacts. The faster the readout speed, the less noticeable these artifacts become, which is crucial for capturing fast action or when you're moving the camera quickly. Have you ever shot a fast-moving subject only to find it looking warped in your footage? Yeah, that's rolling shutter at work. And that's why these readout speed improvements are such a big deal. Let's get into what Blackmagic has revealed about the Pixis 12K. This camera supports multiple resolutions and aspect ratios, each with its own readout speed. Here's what we're looking at. In 12K resolution, which is the camera's headline feature, the open gate 3 to 2 format has a readout speed of 24.12 milliseconds. The 16 to 9 format comes in at 20.74 milliseconds while the 17 to 9 cinema format is slightly faster at 19.44 milliseconds. If you're shooting in widescreen 2.4 to 1 format, you'll get the fastest 12K readout at 15.34 milliseconds. Drop down to 8K and the speeds improve significantly. Open gate, just 13.51 milliseconds. Widescreen 2.4 to 1, an impressive 8.59 milliseconds. The 4K modes match the 8K readout speeds, which makes sense since they're likely using the same sensor area with different pixel binning or scaling. What we find particularly interesting is the Super 35 crop modes, which offer a 9K resolution. 2.4 to 1 format here gives you a very respectable 11.59 milliseconds readout. Now, if you're wondering how this compares to the original Pixis camera, the improvement is dramatic. The original Pixis had a readout speed of about 25 milliseconds in both its 6K open gate and 4K full height modes. But this new Pixis 12K delivers approximately twice the speed. This isn't just a minor upgrade. It's a significant leap forward that puts the Pixis 12K in a whole new category of performance. Think about what this means for handheld shooting or when capturing fast action. The difference between 25 millisecond and 13.51 millisecond is the difference between noticeable rolling shutter artifacts and much cleaner motion capture. What's impressive is that Blackmagic has managed this improvement while simultaneously increasing the resolution to 12K. That's no small feat of engineering. Yeah, we know what some of you are thinking. How does this compare to Blackmagic's flagship Ursa Cine 12K LF? Well, the data reveals an interesting hierarchy. The Ursa Cine 12K LF still reigns supreme in terms of readout speed. In 12K open gate mode, the Ursa Cine reads out in 12 millisecond compared to the Pixis 12K's 24.12 millisecond. In 8K, 
the Ursa delivers 6.75 millisecond versus 13.51 millisecond for the Pixis. So the pattern becomes clear. The Ursa Cine 12 KLF is about twice as fast as the new Pixis 12K, which in turn is twice as fast as the original Pixis. This creates a logical progression across Blackmagic's camera lineup, giving filmmakers options based on their specific needs and budget. Does this mean the Pixis 12K isn't good enough for professional work? Absolutely not. The readout speeds we're seeing put it in line with many professional cinema cameras. The Ursa Cine simply represents the ultimate performance for those productions where every millisecond counts. So, what does all this mean for you as a filmmaker? Quite a lot, actually. First, the improved readout speed makes the Pixis 12K much more versatile. You can confidently use it in more dynamic shooting situations, think handheld work, gimbal shots, or drone footage without worrying as much about rolling shutter artifacts ruining your shot. Second, the camera now bridges the gap between mid-range and high-end cinema tools. You're getting performance that would have been considered flagship level just a few years ago, but in a more compact, modular form factor. The 16 stops of dynamic range combined with these improved readout speeds means you're getting a camera that can handle challenging lighting conditions while also capturing motion more cleanly. That's a powerful combination for narrative filmmakers, documentarians and commercial directors alike. And let's not forget about the form factor. This Pixis 12K packs all this performance into a compact, modular body that can be configured for different shooting scenarios. Whether you're running a minimal rig for documentary work or building it out for a feature film, the camera's versatility is impressive. Let's take a moment to appreciate Blackmagic's transparency here. Not every camera manufacturer publishes their readout speed data, which makes it difficult for filmmakers to make informed decisions. By providing these detailed specs, Blackmagic is giving us the information we need to determine if the camera will meet our specific production requirements. This kind of transparency builds trust and helps filmmakers make the right investment for their work. Whether you're planning high-speed action sequences or need to extract clean stills from moving footage, knowing the exact readout performance lets you plan accordingly. Given what we now know about the Pixis 12K's capabilities, who is this camera really for? If you're coming from the original Pixis, this is a no-brainer upgrade that will significantly improve your image quality and motion handling. The doubling of readout speed alone makes it worth considering. Have you ever shot on other systems in this price range? Because the Pixis 12K offers a compelling package of resolution dynamic range, and now improved readout performance that's hard to match. For those weighing it against the Ursa Cine 12 KLF, the decision comes down to your specific needs. If absolute top-tier readout performance is essential for your work, the Ursa Cine still has the edge. But if you need a more compact system that still delivers excellent readout speeds, the Pixis 12K hits a sweet spot of performance and practicality. Independent filmmakers, commercial directors and documentary producers will find a lot to love here. The camera provides enough headroom to handle just about any production scenario while maintaining a form factor that works in the field. Overall, Blackmagic Pixis 12K represents a significant step forward in sensor technology. With readout speeds twice as fast as its predecessor while delivering 12K resolution and 16 stops of dynamic range, it's a camera that deserves serious attention. What's particularly impressive is how Blackmagic has managed to improve performance while maintaining the compact modular design that made the original Pixis so appealing. This isn't just an incremental update, it's a substantial leap forward that changes what's possible with a camera in this class. As filmmakers, 
we're always looking for tools that expand our creative possibilities without imposing limitations. The Pixis 12K, with its improved readout speeds and impressive specs, seems to deliver exactly that. So, that's all about the Pixis 12K. What do you think about these improvements? Will the faster readout speeds make a difference in your productions? Let us know in the comments below. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.